Hey guys, Jay here, and it's time for the end of the year video, only I don't really have anything to show off or is that type of good. But how about we look towards the future as I count down some games that I'm looking forward to in 2021. Maybe a top 5 of some of the games I'm looking forward to playing in 2021? That sounds good enough for me. So why don't we get started then? At number 5, we have Returnal. Returnal is pinned third person shooter with roguelike elements. Think of it as the Alien franchise and Dead Cells had a baby. Set in a futuristic sci-fi universe, the player controls Selene, a space pilot, equipped with a suit and armed with high-tech weapons who is stranded on an alien planet and stuck in a time loop. After every death, she is resurrected, so we have a Metroid dungeon crawler with an interesting mechanic that after you die, everything is reset. Selene is on an adventure to figure out what is causing the loop and hopefully escape the planet. Now at number 4, it has a similar premise to where you're an assassin tasked with killing your targets in a single night before they kill you, till now you failed but fortunately you're stuck in a time loop. Colt, an assassin that is stuck in said time loop, wakes up on a beach on an island of Black Reef, a former army base where strange experiments had once been held. People have gathered for this night to hold a party that seemingly never ends. At the end of each night, the island resets to the start of the party in that time loop. The partygoers pay no heed to their actions or deeds since they wake up at the start of the loop with no memories or effects of the previous time loop. While Colt is a part of the time loop, he retains his memories from each try, learning behaviors and patterns of the partygoers with each rewind. This looks to be reminiscent of a lot of B-movie over-the-top action fun. At the number 3 spot is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. The bro force is back and we get the continuation from Into the Nexus with Ratchet trying to find the other Lombacks. This new entry will explore the story of Ratchet and Clank as they transverse across worlds in multiple realities to stop a villainous emperor from exploiting the catastrophic dimensional collapse caused by a malfunctioning device to instigate a plan of exterminating organic life in all universes. Also, who is that female Lombax? Number 2, we have Breath of the Wild 2. The idea of creating a direct sequel came from Eiji Anuma producer of Breath of the Wild and his team, they wanted to revisit Hyrule while incorporating a new story and gameplay mechanics. Initially, the new ideas were going to be for the DLC, but evolved into a new game when, when too many ideas were gathered and well received. Still no release date, but one can dream if it comes out in 2021, can't they? At number one is God of War Ragnarok, the sequel to 2018's Game of the Year, loosely based on Norse mythology. The game will be set in ancient Norway and feature Kratos and his young son Atreus. It is expected to kick off Ragnarok, a series of events that bring about the end of days and depicts the deaths of the Norse gods, which was foretold to happen in the previous game after Kratos killed the Aesir god Baldur. If this game builds upon the last game's established lore about the pantheons and the larger world around them, then this will be a sequel worth playing, especially when we get Kratos vs Thor. That should be it for the top 5 games I'm excited for in 2021. Hopefully they all come out as planned, but in this day and age a few might get delayed. In the comments below, tell me some of the games that you're looking forward to. Stay safe guys, and have a happy new year. Oh yeah! Top of the leaderboard! <laughs> oh, Ibuki here. Leave a comment and sub to the channel! I should be like you, Melvin.